Just about 925, time for another edition of Science with Sarah. Today, Sarah Spivey and David Sears are out at the Young Women's Leadership Academy. They have a group of second graders with them, and today they're doing a sound wave experiment. Sarah, you were showing me this in the newsroom before you left. Good morning, guys. Yeah, good morning. We are going to be showing how sound, even though it's invisible, it can become visible because sound travels in what? How does sound travel? Waves! That's right. So here's what you need for the experiment. David likes to put on his safety first. Safety first. You got two bowls. One of these is going to have water in it. The other one is going to have that press and seal wrap pretty, pretty tight on there. And then you need a tuning fork and a mallet. These can be found at Amazon for about six bucks. So. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place, hit that tuning fork and place it in the water and watch how the sound, whoa, you end up getting splashed a little. That's why I got my gloves on. Yeah, here, let me try. Good job, David. And one Thank more you. time. Thank you very much. Whoa, there you go. Okay, and then on this one, you're going to put some rice on oh, I there. Take my off the rice. Okay. Here, would you like to put some rice on put there, the David? Rice on there. How much rice? That's good. And then I'm going to hit this and Is show. Is cooked or raw? It's raw rice. If it's cooked, it's going to stick. That's not good. And then if you do it right, whoa. It makes a lot of sound. It makes a lot of sound, and the rice acts like jumping beans, though. We're going to have There we go. Awesome. I'm fighting you over it. There we go. That's awesome. So, in addition, you talk to we hear using our eardrum, which is a lot like this. But there's an other animals that hear a little differently than us. So we have Emily here with the zoo, and this is Thor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Thor. He's a Florida king snake. And so the reason that I really wanted to bring a snake out today is because these guys actually don't have any external ear holes. So if you look really closely at his head, the sides of his head, he has no holes to help him hear. So he kind of hears like he has earmuffs on. So, a really cool way that he can feel the sound a little bit different, like I said, is by feeling. So he's going to be able to feel that vibrations going through the ground as he's slithering around. Since wow. his whole body's on the ground every time he has to move. The vibrations, like what we're showing, exactly. exactly. And y'all just ended Zubu, which I heard was yeah. really fun. But coming up, you've got something for the holidays, right? Yeah, so we have zoo lights starting on November 18th, running to December 31st. So we are super excited. It's a great time to bring your families, your friends. It turns into a winter wonderland where you can see our animals like Thor and some of our other animals too. That is awesome, Heather and Emily. Thank you so much for being here. And Thor, of course. <laughs> okay, girls, how does sound travel? Yeah. Waves! Okay, y'all ready to sing and match a note? It's a bunch of angels here. <laughs> All right, coming up, you guys are going to do the experiment. Are you guys excited? Yeah! We'll have that coming up. Well, welcome back to Science with Sarah. We are with the Young Women's Leadership Academy primary with these second graders. We're doing sound experiments. All right, girls, I want you to put your tuning fork on the water and see what happens. Make sure to hit your tuning fork hard. Let's try the tuning fork on the water. Make sure to hit it. It's hard. Did you hit the tuning fork with a mallet? Like this. Watch. Hit your tuning fork. Where's your mallet? Here. Ah. Whoa! Awesome. What's it, what's it going to do when it, when it touches the water? Um, it will... What's it, what's it going to do when it touches the water? It's going to stop the, the gonna vibe. Go. It's gonna stop the vi vibration. Well, right. it's gonna it's gonna make the vibration, uh -huh. but but you're not gonna hear it. Okay. And then what's gonna happen when you do the rice? I think when you do the rice. <laughs> you wanna do the rice? Where's your mouth? Where's your fork? There's your when fork. You put it in it kind of looks like Here, hit, hit your hit your All right. tuning fork with your mallet. <laughs> Here, let's let me hit it for you. Okay, put it on the rice. Like, oh, on the water. That was good. Okay, good job, girls. Keep on going. All right, how's it going over here? All right, hit, take it out of the water. Take it, take it out of the water, and then hit it, and then put it right in the water real quick. Hit it. Oh, you got a little vibration going there. Hit it hard. There good you go. Good job. Okay, guys, let's try the rice now. Okay. 
It's going to vibrate. It's going to vibrate. So it's gonna look, what's it going to look like when it vibrates? Oh, wait. It's going to look like waves here. Let me help you out. Here, hold your tuning fork. Okay, hold it up above the water. Ready? Let's get in there. Wow, that's bit. awesome. Right, hold it tight. Quick. Oh, got a little wave in there. All so right, what's going to happen guys, when you do the right? Try. I think that um, I think that it might, it might vibrate in like circles, like it might it, it might like spread out. Oh really? Okay. That's let's cool try, the, let's try the rice. Take your take your mallet and hit your tuning fork. Let's see what the rice does. You're gonna hold it over, hold it over first. Y'all okay, keep working on that. And then hit it, and then put it in. How cool! How are you? Good. And did you do the experiment? No. You didn't do it yet? All right, let's try it. Get a 24 gram out. What do you think? You do the you do the rice. Yeah, you do the rice. You do the rice. Let's see what happens when you do the rice. See, makes noise. Okay, hit it. Hit it. So I have a question. How does sound travel? In waves. In waves. When sound is low. It makes little noises. It does make yeah. little noises, doesn't it? When yes. sound is low, like Mr. David's voice, how do the waves move? Low and low. Slow. 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 That's exactly right. Low and slow. And what happens when you talk and your voice is a little higher than mine? Does it move faster? Yes. It moves faster, doesn't it? So that's how sound goes. Ooh. So if I talk real low, it'll take a while for it to get to you. But if I talk real fast and real high, it gets you real quick. All righty. Hey, yeah, girls. <laughs> Were you able to make the rice move? Go over here. Yeah? Did it work? Do you guys want to sing a note again little, together? Did you do yeah. the little rice thing? Okay. Sing this note with me. Oh, you got it. Do that again. Do that again. Here, we Are got this one. Are we making here. waves? See how it makes a noise? Let's listen. Go ahead. Do it again. Oh, and look, look at the rice jumping around. Wow. So what's that doing? It's vibrating. It's vibrating. So if you did that a lot, the rice would move all over the all over the bowl, wouldn't it? All over that plastic. So what are we creating? Um, a vibration. We're creating vibration. And what is that sound wave? Is that what that is? Yeah. Is that the way travel? Is that the way sound travels? Sound travels in waves, like all right, like guys, waves we on the ocean. Had an awesome got time it. at Young Women's Leadership Academy. Academy it work? Primary. Are you guys Can excited work? about the sound? Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.